Hey everybody, Caroline Roberts here, founder of The Writer's Retreat. Today, you are tuned into Woman Who Write Wednesday. So I am just gonna wait a couple minutes for people to come in and I'm super excited to get started. All right, so welcome, come on in. I'm super excited for today's topic. We are gonna be talking about getting your book into retail, getting your book into bookstores. So if you are tuning in today for Woman Who Writes Wednesdays, leave a comment in the chat and let me know if you hear me, let me know if you can see me well and if we're good to go. All right, so leave a comment in the chat. We are tuning in to Woman Who Write Wednesdays. I'm so excited to get started. Where are you guys tuning in from? Let me know where you're tuning in from. Let me know if you can hear me. Hey, Vicky. Awesome. Okay, we're all good. Y'all can hear me well. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to wait a little bit longer for my people to join, and then we're going to get started. I'm excited for today, guys. So I have so much um, information to share with you guys about getting your book into bookstores and fulfilling that dream. I feel like this is a dream that a lot of writers have. So I really hope that you find the information today useful. Um, and also, if you stay till the end, I'm going to be doing a couple giveaways. So you guys know the deal. Stay to the end and we are going to be doing some giveaways, okay? Yay, someone said, good morning, I can see you, um, I can hear you, awesome. Oh, look, we have Anadisha, she's tuning in all the way from the Bahamas, hey sis. Awesome, someone is from North Carolina. Awesome, so we're going to get started in a little bit. Well, I'm probably going to just start now. Um, oh, look, someone says, Ebony says she's from Detroit, Detroit in the building. <laughs> I have been to Michigan like only one time. Um, but welcome, welcome, everybody. Thank you, Victoria. So Victoria, our president here, she said the audio and visuals are great. So I'm happy we are good to go. Okay, so someone already has a question. Before we get started and get into it, let me feature this question. Um, so JM says, hey there, how can we find editors for our book? Thank you. Um, JM, so actually um, we have a sister company called Luminous Publishing. So it is a publishing company and we do offer editing services. So reach out to us. I think if you look in the description box below, you'll find a link to book a consultation with us if you're interested in working with us, okay? Awesome. Okay, guys. So today we're gonna be talking about getting your book into bookstores. Now, there are a lot of things that you wanna consider and keep in mind um, when it comes to getting your book into bookstores, but I, but I actually created a free resource for you guys to download and it is a checklist of the steps that you want to take to get your book into bookstores. So I'm going to be going over this checklist today. I'm going to be talking about my experience, my journey of seeing these dreams fulfilled in my life, the process that I had to go to, to you know partner with different retailers and get my books into bookstores and even do book signings and things like that. So I'm kind of going to walk you guys through my journey and through what my experience was but that free resource should be in the description box of this video so you can go to that landing page download it um, and you'll have that same exact resource for yourself and it's really going to help you mark off all the steps that you need to take in order to you know go towards getting your book into bookstores okay Awesome. You're welcome. JM said yes. Amen. Thank you. All right, guys. So let's get into it. So to get into bookstores, the first thing that you want to think about is the publishing route that you want to take, right? So 
are you going to do the self-publishing route or are you going to do the traditional publishing route? Um, let me know in the comment section if you've thought of this. Let me know if you've published a book before. Did you do traditional publishing? Did you do self-publishing? Or if you haven't published your book yet, what are you thinking of doing? What route are you thinking of taking, okay? So let me know in the comment section so I can kind of know what I'm working with here. Let me know in the comment section. Okay, Tara Neek said she's self-publishing. What's up, Tara Neek? I'm so excited to have you on here, sis. Okay, awesome. Someone said that they're thinking of using traditional publishing. Um, that's great as well. There are different pros and cons when it comes to, you know, publishing. You know, there are some good things about, you know, traditional publishing that you can't get from self-publishing. And then there are some good things about self-publishing that you can't get from traditional publishing. So I actually have a book, The Right Guide, and I have a whole chapter about self-publishing versus publishing. And I really lay out the pros and the cons and, you know, do all the comparisons. So if you really want to learn more about writing and the publishing process, and you're trying to decide the direction to go in, definitely check out this book. The link is in the description box. Um, a lot of people said that they are interested in self-publishing or that's the route that they want to take. All right. So I will say this, um, when it comes to the larger brick and mortar stores, such as Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, et cetera, it is gonna be way easier for you to get placement in those bookstores if you have a traditional publisher that already has an account with these bookstores. Rarely would you see a self-published author um, have placement in a brick and mortar store, but, there's many other bookstores out there, guys. There's thousands of bookstores. So if you're thinking of self-publishing, right, and you're not, you know, per se trying to reach towards like a certain big company, but you just want to make sure that you're marketing your book, that you're making sales and that you're putting in the work, then you can reach out to smaller bookstores, indie bookstores in your area and talk to them about creating an agreement where you have your book placed in their bookstores, um, you can have your book placed in their bookstores and then maybe they can take like a percentage of the sales since it's being placed in their bookstore. But even if you self-publish, but you want to like have your book in a larger bookstore, there is something called consignment. Have you guys ever heard of consignment? Um, aw, Alexa said, love your book, life-changing. Thank you, Alexa. Thank you, sis. So you can have your book in consignment. So for example, even if your book is not literally in retail, it can kind of be like, you can reach out to Barnes and Noble um, or many different bookstores. I personally, my experience, I reached out to Barnes and Noble, but they had my book on retail, not consignment, but they had that option. So what they do for consignment is that they purchase, you know, a few books from you and you bring it in and you sell it more. So it's kind of like it's not in their system, but it's kind of like they're partnering with you as an individual. So you can approach different bookstores and ask them if they are willing to carry your book and place it in their bookstore on consignment and you know, a lot of big bookstores are willing to work with you in order to do that. So that is something that when I found out, I thought it was really cool. All right. So you can definitely have your book on consignment, but I'm going to share my screen. We are going to go over, you know, the checklist that I was talking about getting into bookstores checklist. And we're going to talk about some of the things that, you know, you really want to have in place. But I just want to share a little bit about my journey, you know, with this whole process. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Give me a second. Okay. All right, guys. So this year I achieved one of the dreams of my life, right? So my book was published, my book, not published, 
my book, hold on, let me share the screen. Okay, so this year um, I had a book signing at Barnes & Noble, one of the nation's largest bookstore um, branches, and it was totally a dream. So I wanna share with you guys the steps I took in order to get to this place of having a book signing, in order to get to this place and position myself so that the bookstore can order books um, from my distributor. I'm gonna share with you guys who that distributor is. Um, if you're interested in positioning, positioning yourself in the same way as well, um, but it was amazing. I was able to, you know, meet with people who, you know, have followed my journey, who have been impacted by my books. And it was definitely a dream. This is um, one of the ladies who came by to purchase a book and to attend my book signing. Um, and it was a dream seeing my book on the shelf alongside, you know, all these other different you know, Christian authors that we know, renowned Christian authors. It was definitely a dream. Um, and yeah, I was on the event list for that day. They create like a plaque for you and everything. And my journey started in 2016. So this book here, if you guys don't know, I've written and published eight books. Um, I have a publishing company on my own. So this book here is the one that I released earlier this year, The One Revealed Volume 2. But actually, my first book that received placement with the Barnes & Noble chain was The One Revealed Volume 1 in 2016. So this is a copy of the letter that I received in 2016. Um, and basically the letter says, you know, thank you for sending us the one revealed. We welcome the opportunity to review books of all types from publishers, large and small. And they said after review, the buyer for the category, so the category for, you know, Christian living, et cetera. So every, every bookstore has different categories or genres that your book can be placed in. It says the buyer for the category has decided to place an order of approximately 12 copies. So what they'll do is they'll start off with you small and they'll see, you know, how much you sell from, you know, the amount of orders they place. And then, you know, depending on your sales, then they can purchase more books from you in the future. And this will build a relationship with them. So they didn't just randomly send me this letter. So I had to create a whole marketing plan. Um, I sent them like this whole entire application. I sent them marketing plans. I sent them my strategies, why my book stands apart, um, you know, all of that. Basically, even like a book proposal in order to receive placement in their stores. Okay, guys. So we're going to be talking about, um, you know, the application. I'm going to show you guys the application. And a lot of these, a lot of the bookstores have like this same process where you fill out an application and they ask for the same, you know, things. They ask for the same, they have the same guidelines that are really important to them. And we're going to talk about that as well. So I want to share with you guys the um, checklist that I've created for you. So hold on one second. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this checklist is getting into bookstores checklist. So this is the getting into bookstores checklist. Like I said, you can download it in the description box. The link is there. So these are the steps that you really want to take building up to the moment where you're going to put your package together, your marketing plans and submit it for placement to a bookstore. So you wanna make sure that you choose an optimized book title. That is the first step, that is the beginning. Um, I talk a lot about search engine optimization and through my publishing company, Luminous Publishing, we actually do a lot of that market research, um, SEO in the back end, and we actually have publishing packages um, that offer a service for us to help you build this package, to help you fill out your application and present it to different bookstores for placement. So that's actually a service that we provide. But you want to make sure that you have an optimized book title because the more optimized your book title is, the more people are going to be able to find it, the higher it's going to be placed in visibility and the more sales you are going to make. Right. So that is super important. You want to make sure that you are aligned with the right publisher. But like I said, if you wanna do self-publishing, that doesn't mean that all hope is lost. 
Um, that just means that if you want to do self-publishing, you may want to consider working with, you know, smaller bookstores or consider, consider like if you're working with larger bookstores to reach out to them for consignment. OK, so you want to align with the right publisher. But I want to go further and say you want to align with the right distribution channels. So our publishing company is partnered with the world's largest book distributor, which is Ingram Spark. And Ingram Spark already has an account with Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, basically all the distributors that you can think of, Amazon, they are already aligned and have an account with those retailers. So because our publishing company is aligned with Ingram Spark, that means that we are also aligned with these retailers. You know, we have an account with them where if they want to purchase books from us, they have like a website they go to. It's super easy. They can make an order. They can place a, they can make a purchase. Okay. So you want to make sure that you're aligned with the right publisher. All right. Um, the next thing you want to do is publish or purchase a universal ISBN. So one big mistake that a lot of new authors make, especially if they're publishing through like Lulu and Amazon KDP, is that they accept the free ISBN because they give like a free ISBN option where you don't have to pay, you know, the $99. But the free ISBN is going to limit you just to that platform just to that retailer. So you can't publish a book with a free KDP ISBN and then go to these larger retailers because when they ask for your ISBN number, they're not they're not going to know what you're talking about. They're not going to be able to locate your book. So you want to make sure that you use um, a universal ISBN. You can purchase this at myidentifiers.com. Okay. Here's the next big step. Okay. Your book, you know, is published. It's out there. You have your free ISBN. You have a good title, a good cover. Your book is marketable and it's optimized. You want to set your wholesale discount, right? So what these bookstores do when they want to place an order for bookstore placement, they want to make a profit too off of your book. So they are basically, instead of purchasing your book for the retail price, which is the price that everyone else pays, they are purchasing your book for a wholesale price. So you're basically giving them a discount so that they can make a profit. So the higher discount you give them, obviously, you know, the more likely they are going to want to work with you. But you also have to be very strategic. That's why you have to be very strategic in your pricing of your book because if you price your book too low but you want to have bookstore placement and you have to give a large wholesale discount but your book is priced low then that's not going to leave enough margin for you to make a profit off of your book so be strategic about how you price your book i also talk about you know pricing your book in the right guide but generally the rule of thumb most wholesale discounts want a profit margin of 55%, okay? They want a higher profit margin, 55% was kind of the starting range if you wanna get your foot in the door, okay? So 55% is the discount that you wanna start off to set. Um, you want to set your book as returnable, right? And I don't even know if um, you can do this. You can't even do this on um, Amazon KDP. So that's why I recommend going with a publisher or aligning yourself with Ingram Spark because KP, I don't even think they give an option to set a wholesale discount or to set your book as returnable. But it's important to set your book as returnable because what happens at retail stores? When you go to Barnes and Noble or Books a Million and you purchase a book and you don't want it, um, what do you do? You're able to go back to, to the store and return it. So these bookstores want to make sure that if someone doesn't want your book or they return your book to their bookstore, that then they can return their book, your book to you and get that money back. So you want to make sure that your book is returnable and you also have to have a business address um, where they can send those returnable books to or easier if you are aligned with a publisher, then they can just return the book straight to your publisher so that you don't have to put your house address and your personal information out there. All right. Um, creating a marketing plan is very important. Being very strategic about that, because when you send in your application, 
you're going to also want to submit your application with your marketing plan and your marketing strategy because they want to know that if they purchase books from you that your books are going to sell and it's not just sitting on their shelves okay um gaining reviews and publicity for your book is super important that's part of your marketing plan choosing your pre-order date and your on sale date those are two different things so pre-orders is a good way to promote and market your book in advance the on sale date is the date that you set for your book to start literally selling. So you really want to you know, think of what that is. Organizing a book signing. Now, when you have all these things in place, when you're aligned with the right distributor, when you have a wholesale discount, um, you know, when you set your on sale date, right, to make your book available, when you have all these things in place, you can actually now reach out to these different retailers and say, I have an account, you know, with Ingram or whatever your distributor is, you know, I have the wholesale discount of 55%. Um, my book is launching this time. Can we set up a book signing? Can you purchase, you know, a certain amount of books and they will purchase your books and they will have it in their stores. And that's exactly what I did um, this year when I was setting up my book signing to have in Orlando, Florida. All right. So you want to generate sales and advertising. And then after you have, you know, generated sales and stuff, it is a good time to apply for store placement. OK, so you can do a book signing first, even if your um, book is not placed like officially in the stores, you can still reach out to a store in your location for a book signing. They'll order your books. And then now you have a better chance when you're reaching out to the headquarters um, you have a better chance of placement because you can say, hey, I've had a book signing with this store. The sales were good. Um, you know, my sale is my book is also selling good on Amazon.com. Here is my marketing. Here are the different reviews. And then that gives you a better chance of in-store placement. OK, so it's all about intentionality, strategy, sales, having a marketing plan and putting yourself in the right position. All right, so that is that. Um, before I get into the application, I wanna see if you guys have any questions about what we just went over. I wanna look through the questions. Oh, my husband is watching. Hey, baby. <laughs> awesome. PT God's daughter said so much valuable information. Thanks so much. I'm glad you found it helpful. Awesome, guys. Yay. Thank you for subscribing, JM. Awesome. I'll, yes, I would definitely love to help you with your book. So um, do you guys have any questions before we go over the you know, application um, really briefly? Do you guys have any questions? Let me know. And I think we're going to do one of our giveaways in a little bit. So I'm going to wait for you guys to ask any questions. While we're doing that, I want to make a quick announcement, guys. So I'm so excited. Was it last week or the week before last? I think it was last week we announced the rescheduling of our Paris Writers Retreat. I'm so excited, guys. So we've actually had a few people um, to sign up, to register. There are a few spots left. So if you're interested in coming with us to Paris, um, then definitely, guys, if you're interested in coming up, coming with us to Paris, register at um, our website, writersretreat.com. You'll be able to see the trip for Paris on there. Um, but I cannot wait. I was bummed out when we had to cancel it due to COVID. So I'm going to be so excited, guys to finally go. Like I had everything prepared. I had everyone's gifts ready. I had bought so much stuff, like just for the ladies who are attending. And it's literally just sitting in my closet and I'm just waiting for the retreat. <laughs> so I'm so excited. Okay, let me see the comments. Um, to all. Someone said, what is optimistic book? I'm sorry, I don't understand the question optimistic book optimizing your book is that what you mean um so when i say optimizing your book i'm talking about search engine optimization so really 
giving your book the best chance that it can have um you know to raise its visibility in the search engine such as google.com amazon.com so that is what i am talking about all right guys so um before we go into the application i feel like doing a giveaway we're gonna do a giveaway guys Oh, and this giveaway goes in line with like our topic for today because I was just telling you guys how important it is if you want to have bookstore placement, how important it is that you're strategic about your sales and your marketing plan. And one of the ladies who is a part of our Writers Retreat Network, she was so kind to send in her book for us to do a giveaway. Do y'all see it? Sell more books and impact more lives by Crystal S. Day. Yes. So her book, she talks about um, you know how you can increase sales. She is actually a publisher as well. She is from the island of Jamaica. <laughs> so let's do a giveaway. If you are interested in winning this book, I want you to um, guess a number between one to 10, a number between one to 10. Whoever gets it first is gonna win this book. Who wants to win this free book? Let me know in the comment section. A number between one to 10. <laughs> okay, someone said seven, four, nine, Four, ten. Seven, three. Three. Two. Y'all keep guessing. Two. By the way, while everyone is guessing, if you are interested in donating um you know any of your books hey guys it's free advertising donating any of your books to bless other writers um and viewers in our community then you can send your book to our address we have our address on the screen this is our business address so you can send your book right here and whenever i do a woman who writes wednesdays i always try to give something away so if that's something that you're interested in then you can do that okay his daughter his daughter she was the first one to say eight so you are the winner his daughter so email me at caroline at writersretreat.com and you know share your name and your mailing address and all that information and we will send you a copy of your book i'm gonna put my email on the screen Okay, so email caroline at writersretreat.com to redeem your free book. And we are going to do another giveaway towards the end, okay? All right, so let me see if we have any other questions. Congratulations, his daughter, before we get into sharing, um, sharing just the application. And as I said, if you missed the beginning of this live stream, I created this free resource on getting into bookstores. All you have to do is click the link in the description box and mm, click the link in the description box and you'll get your free download. All right, guys. So now I want us to go over um, just like the bookstore placement application that I had to fill out in order to get placement in Barnes and Noble. Okay, so guys, this is the publisher author application for book placement consideration. Um, so basically, you have to fill in this application. Um, they ask you for what your ISBN number is. So remember, I told you guys to get the universal ISBN. So you're going to put that information down here. They ask you who is your wholesaler, who is your distributor. So for example, our company would put Ingram Spark. So whatever wholesaler or distributor you use, you will put their information right there. Um, then they ask you for um, 
if you're to, to make sure that you follow all these terms. So the terms are you must have the minimum acceptable discount of 50% off. So remember, we talked about that wholesale discount. Um, you are responsible for paying shipping, right? Right, freight and shipping. Make sure that your merchandise is returnable. So your book has to be listed as returnable and all of that good stuff. So you basically fill this out. Um, you set up your information as a vendor. So you put your business name, your business address. So if it's your publisher, you can put your publisher's business address. If this is just you, then you'll put your PO box or your business address, but they need an address in case someone returns the books, et cetera, et cetera, that it can be sent somewhere, okay? Your website, all of that. So you're gonna fill in this information and to this information, you are going to attach your trade reviews. You're going to attach uh, you know, your marketing plan, everything. So I just filled out that application and then I had like probably like 30 to 50 pages of like my marketing plan and my reviews and publicity and things like that. So that is basically what you do. Um, the address, the Barnes and Noble headquarters address is on the application. You put it in a folder, you mail it to them, you wait. I think it took like a couple months, maybe like two to three months. I don't know. You wait a while for them to reach out to you. If they're interested, they'll send you a letter. I showed you guys an example of the letter that they sent me. They'll tell you if you're approved or not, and they'll let you know you know, how much, if you are approved, they'll let you know how much books they're going to start off with and purchase from you. And then from there, you want to build and foster that relationship. You want to make sure that you're sending people, you know, to their store to buy your book and stuff like that. And then it'll just grow and build up from there. All right, guys. So that is the application. Um, someone said, I would love to send in my book. Yes. Sending your book so that you can bless someone else. Um, yes, guys. So that is the application for that. All right, guys. So the next thing that I just want to remind you guys is if you are not a part of the Writers Retreat Network, you can join our network at writersretreat.com slash network. Actually, you know, we shouted out Crystal because she donated her book but i want to shout her out again because you know i just recently logged into the network and i see how active she is being on there um so i'm gonna just share the screen to show you guys the network um really really quick okay okay so this is our network dashboard look look at crystal over here she's posting blog posts five pra practical tips to build a profitable brand, profitable brand as an author. She's sharing images of her book. She's in the forum, right? So we have a forum where we can do like encouragement and advice, et cetera, et cetera. So make sure that you guys come on here, that you're active. We have You have your own profile. You can check your messages. It's really like our own private social media space. And we're so excited to be more active on here to post more and to get more involved in the forum as well. So definitely check that out, okay guys? So we are going to do another giveaway. So I'm excited for our next upcoming giveaway. Um, Y'all give me another idea of how to do these giveaways so that I'm not always like, what is the number in my head? Does anyone else have a good idea for how I can do these giveaways? <laughs> oh my goodness. Give me an idea. Yeah, so we're going to do another book giveaway, guys. Y'all don't have any ideas? <laughs> okay, Bible trivia. Bible trivia. Man. What can I say about Bible trivia? Um, okay. What is remembering things you spoke on questions? That's a good one. Yes, I like that. Okay, so I want to test you guys, and I'm going to test you on something that I spoke on, okay, and see if y'all were paying attention. Okay, so I said 
that, you know, for bookstore placement, you need to make sure that you set your wholesale discount. So what is the number that I recommended? Like if you're a first time author, you want to get your foot in the door. What is the wholesale discount that I recommended to set? Let me know, guys. Are you paying attention? Who is paying attention? What is the wholesale discount percentage? Someone said 50%. No, um, the number that I recommended. So it did say 50% on the BNN application, but what is the number that I recommended? Someone said 30%. No, no. Okay, we have a winner. <laughs> PT God's daughter said 55%. Congratulations, sis. Yes. Um, oh, no. Someone said it before. Okay. I have to do two giveaways because Shanice Russell also said 55%. Okay. So um, PT God's daughter. Did you already win one or was that another God's daughter? I feel, oh, his daughter. So there's his daughter and then there's PT God's daughter. Okay. So email me, guys. And Shanice Russell um, email me, guys. I'm going to put the email information here. But email me so that you can redeem your giveaway. So email Caroline at writerstreet.com, your full name, you know, your address or your PO box where you want me to send the book. Okay, so I'm going to do two giveaways because two people guessed it at the same time, PT God's Daughter and Shanice. So First book giveaway is from another author who donated to us. That is called, this is called There is Hope on the Other Side of Grief, right? By Shayna Cree. There is hope on the other side of grief. So we are giving this away, guys. And then I am also gonna do another, well, not another giveaway since we had two winners. The next book we're going to give away is my book that I was talking to you guys about today, which is The Right Guide, okay? The Right Guide. So these are the three books that we're giving away today. And like I said, if you are interested in participating in the giveaway and you know giving away one of your books to bless someone else, then our address is scrolling at the bottom of the screen. All right, guys, so that is the information I wanted to share with you guys about getting into bookstores. So I want to see if you guys have any Q&A or questions about publishing, writing, um, the writer's retreat, anything like that. And we're going to do a short Q&A before we disconnect today. But um, just an announcement, I want us to start doing, um, if you received our email you know, from our newsletter, we're going to start doing Women Who Write Wednesdays every single Wednesday. So before we were doing it every other week, but we're going to start doing it, God willing, every single Wednesday at 10 a.m., the same time that we have it today. All right. So I really hope that you guys are enjoying this. I really hope that it's informative. Let me know if you have any questions for our Q&A. Okay. Any questions about writing, publishing, the writer's retreat, anything in general? Thank you guys for joining me today. It's been so fun. So I'm waiting for some questions to come in. Okay. We have a question. Hmm. All right. So someone said, I'm writing my first book and I feel like I'm getting cold feet. Like, I don't think my book is good enough. Is this normal? So I want to answer your question by first saying that the fact that you um, are feeling like discouraged and you're getting cold feet, like this is not just you. I think that this is normal. And whenever you have something valuable to place in the world, whenever God has assigned you to do something, you're always going to 
um, get the enemy to try to stop you and try to discourage you. Why? Because he knows that your voice is a threat. He knows that the message that God has placed inside of your heart is a threat. So it is normal. It's okay to have those feelings, but don't stay there. Know that God has a plan and a specific purpose for your life. Know that if he's placed on your heart to write a book, then there is a reason for that. And it's greater than you. It's greater than just yourself. I believe that he wants to use that message that he's placed inside of you to touch, transform, and inspire the lives of many. So don't be discouraged. Um, connect yourself with like-minded writers who share similar struggles, who have been down that road, who have been down that journey. I found that being in the right community and environment um, really would help to encourage you along that process. I feel like as writers, a lot of us are isolated or we don't really have people in our life who understand what that means or what that looks like. So really align yourself with other writers who you know, are flourishing or who are, you know, trying to build themselves up in that process. And I feel like when you align yourself with people who can relate to you, that will bring another sense of confidence that you're going down the right path. So I really hope that encourages you. Um, that's what we're here for. Um, that's what this network is here for, to build that community, to build that safe haven and that place where writers feel motivated, encouraged and inspired. All right. Um, the next question. What is the best? Let's see. What is the best way to save and budget for your publishing and writing costs? Any tips? Um, I think that, first of all, you have to decide what route you want to go on. You have to know what you're paying for, right? So if you are wanting to go the traditional publishing route, um, or if you want to go with like a small book publisher, do research, have consultations and see what would it require of you to align with this publisher. And usually they'll give you like a, you know, a specific amount, a certain amount, and then you can save up towards that. If you are thinking of self-publishing, I want you to write out a list of all the different things that you need to get done and then do your research for those different things and see how much it would cost. So write down, you know, I need to get a book cover created. You know, I might need to have a photo shoot um, for my headshots, right? Or for promotional. And then, you know, not only do I have to pay the photographer, but I may need to like get an outfit that matches or get props that matches the theme that I'm trying to convey, right? So how much is how much are graph how much is graphic design? How much do I have to pay the graphic designer? How much do I have to pay the photographer? How much do I have to pay editors? How much is editing? How many phases of editing do I want to go through? So am I just going to go through one round of editing or am I going to go through developmental editing, line editing and proofreading because the more phases you go, then the more money that is. So make a whole list of all the services that need to be completed in the publishing process if you're going to be self-publishing and do your research to find um you know different freelancers or different companies that can offer this service to you um if you are on a tight budget one website that i recommend that i have used many times before is fiverr.com um, I'm going to put it in the, um, I'm going to put a banner for it for you guys, but this is the name of the website and you can find book covers like on there for 15 bucks. You can like, instead of paying 350 bucks for a book cover, um, but at the same time, you want to think of like what your goals are in terms of publishing and the quality you desire, because obviously the cheaper something is, then most likely it's, it's usually not as good of a quality, right? But the more you're willing to invest, usually you're getting more expert service and you're getting better quality. So it's up to you to decide what is important to you. Are you just trying to get the book out there, you know, with the in the cheapest way possible, which that's nothing wrong with that. If you just want to get it out there, um, then that's fine. Or is this something else? Is this something that you're like, no, I have to do this the right way 
and I'm willing to put that money in. I'm not in a rush. You know, I'm not in a rush. I don't have a specific deadline. I'm going to give myself time to invest in um, this project. I'm going to give myself time to really save up for it, to put into it, to get the right quality editing done, the right book cover done, whether that takes a year or two years. So you have to think of the time. Are you in a rush or do you have time to wait on it? Um, and the quality that you really want to put into it. So I hope that that answers your question. Um, let's see. Does anyone else have a question? Okay, someone said, do you have any information about how to begin publishing books for others? Yeah, I think my first tip would be learn how to publish a book for yourself because that's just what I did. So I published my books, all my books myself. And every time during the journey, I learned something new. So learn through experience. Um, you can do your research as well, but I'm more of a hands-on person. Like I have to do it myself in order to learn. So if you want to start publishing books for others, do it for yourself, do it the best you can, learn everything that you can. And then when you feel like you come to a place where you know, you have a quality product and then you can share those tips with someone else, then you can do that as well. All right. Um, I think that those were all our questions. Did anyone else have a question? All right. Okay, if no one else has a question, thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, we are actually streaming live on YouTube and Facebook. So this is my first time being able to stream live on YouTube and Facebook at once. So if you're not following us on all our social media, make sure to follow us um, at The Writers Retreat. We're on Instagram, um, we're on Twitter. On Twitter, it's The Writers RTRT. I'm on Facebook and we're on YouTube. On YouTube, we have tons of videos and information that you can look over. And do we have any new comments? Do you recommend any photographers for headshots and marketing in Florida? Um, yes, I do. My uncle actually has a photography studio and he is a photographer. When you email me for... Um, like to redeem your book, when you email me to redeem your book, then I can also send you the information for his studio and um, all that good stuff. But it depends what part of Florida are you in? Because I have I know different photographers from different parts of Florida and it's a pretty big state. So email me and let me know what part of Florida you're, you're in and I can let you know if I have any recommendations. All right, guys. Awesome. So I really hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Christina, for your sweet comment. <laughs> that was so sweet and encouraging. She, she said, thank you so much for everything you do to guide others. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you, sis. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, Y'all are so sweet. Pamela. It's you. Why didn't you say it was you, sis? You know you can text me. Reach out to me. We'll talk about it. Love you guys. All right. Love you. And I'm for Women Who Write Wednesdays. All right. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.